Yeah, used to treat my mattress like the ATM. Yeah, bond number nine, that my favorite scent. Yeah, can't forget the cushion, I'm talking OG. Yeah, rest in peace, the poppy was an OG. This is the greatest, your lady's my favorite. Yeah, in love with her attic, but fuck with her basement. Yeah. Yo, what is up? It is your boy Iswigs from the Urban Gamer Gaming Community Group. And yeah, we making another video, man. This is a Monster Hunter World video. If you guys have not noticed, uh, I am playing Monster Hunter World on PS4 and Xbox One. We are currently still sitting at 409 subscribers on YouTube till this date. Uh, and we got a lot of stuff going on, man. So today's video... Uh, as you guys know, I've been playing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of Monster Hunter World, um, and uh, along with along with everybody else in the world, um, been playing this game. I am going to drop. Uh, I've been dropping videos on the channel, but today's video is about your uh, basically your homestead in um, Monster Hunter World. So I got this video coming. I got this video coming, and then I got another Monster Hunter World video. I'm talking about original content, not a stream recap or anything like that. Because you guys know I haven't really been uploading original content because I've been streaming a lot. So, trying to get back into the mood of making original content on the channel and everything like that. But let's get right into this video. So, today I want to talk about the pet system. The pet system, the... Uh, how you get pets, how you get um, room aesthetics for your room. So basically, you can capture pets throughout the land and put them in your room. So pretty much, uh, oh, I got a long end bonus. So pretty much, uh, you can get pets throughout the world. And as you guys see, I got one of those rabbits that's out in the desert. And um, all type of stuff like that. I got one of those uh, worm plants that pops up in the coral. And you can actually catch those. There are actually pets, little animals that you can catch. But I got the queen one. That is actually the queen one. Uh, it's a rare. It's a rare pet that you can get. It's the queen. She pops up at the top and all the little ones pop up around her. So she's kind of hard to catch. But I actually got her. I actually got the uh, the spider you see that spider up there? I actually got that. Now, if you, uh, in order to get that, all you have to do is find a spider web with a spider in the middle of it. You pull out your net and you can capture that right there. So I actually got the spider. Um, I got a whole bunch of fish in here. Well, I got more fish coming, but I got a whole bunch of like rare fish in their aquarium. Like uh, this tuna right here, that's a rare fish that I caught. Like, super, super rare. That mug is super big, too. Um, and then I got, like, a smaller fish in there. But I actually got more fish to put in there. But my homestead, all right, so basically you start off in a smaller homestead. You rank up in HR, and then you can switch to this homestead, and it has more options. If you go over to your Palico, you can actually talk to him, to your housekeeper over here. And you'll have new menus that you can select in this house. If you want to move your room... I moved to the private quarters. Now, you start off in the living quarters, and you can move up to the private quarters. And it's probably one right after that, but you got to be a higher HR to actually move up to it. I'm not there yet. So, you go here. You go to place uh, place your pets. So, any pet that you get out in the open, out in the world, out in the field, will be gathered. And you're wondering, all right, I'm catching all these little plants and stuff and bugs and animals. Where are they going? They, this is where they go. They go inside of your. They have their own menu, their own thing, and you just catch it. So, I got the Sahara Hare, which is that rabbit that's over by me right now, standing by my character, by my feet. Uh, I got that. You could change them out. You could change them out. You could put however many uh, pets that it'll allow you to put. So, you got the floor. You got the pot area, which is the plants. You got the tree, the ceiling, the aqua, or the aquarium. You got two aquarium slots. Um, and then you can just change them out. You can just change it and it'll actually change the animal. Whatever you want to put down. I got gecko. I got gloom gecko. I got a spider, like a tarantula type of thing. I got a vulture. 
I got some ants. The ants are, uh, you can capture the ants. They'll be crawling around, but why would you want to get the ants? I got a uh, jellyfish, vapor pot, or a vega pot, whatever. I got one of the frogs that put the poison out. I got one of those. Got the angler. I got a dung beetle. Uh, I got a dragonfly. Then I got a uh, like a parrot type of bird, and I got another one. I got grasshopper, flash bugs, and a helmet uh, crab. So I got like I got a lot of stuff, and I I just been trying to capture hella stuff. Now my potted, I got a wiggler, and then I got this one. It's a rarity four. It's the wiggler queen. This is actually the queen. What I was just telling you about. It's a rarity four. So the rare, and then all right, my tree. I got the geckos, the gloom geckos. I got the uh, uh, vaporin which is basically a, like a uh, spider, like a black widow spider. I got the bat. I got a bat right there. I got a um, hello drone, which is a beetle. So I usually keep the spider up in there. Um, then I got the bat over there on the, in the ceiling in the cut. He just hanging over there. I just let him do his thing. And then in an aquarium, then you can, like I said, in an aquarium, you can switch up what you want to put in there. So I got a salamander uh, type of creature, which is super hard to catch. It was super hard because it's super fast. And you got to actually, when it jumps in the water, you got to actually go in the water and try to catch it. I got a pink, one of the pink fish, angler. I got another angler that goes at the bottom of the water. He just swims around. Got a wet fish. Got a, uh, that's that tuna. It's not a rarity, but it's a, it's a super hard catch, but it's pretty freaking big. Then I got a sunfish. The only rarity out of them is this angler, uh, angler fish. That's the rare, the most rarest one out of all of them. But I like to put, I'm actually gonna put the tuna and that uh, angler fish in there. That look better. But um, uh, that is basically a quick sum up of the rooms and what you can do with the pets and everything like that. They actually walk around in the room, chill in the room. Like I said, they go that bat up there and. Uh, you know, it's it's, it's it's just a little a little cool aesthetic just for people who didn't know nothing about it. Uh, Now, I want to actually go out in the field and I want to show you guys how to actually capture a quick little demonstration on how to capture these pets that you probably honestly, you probably did not know about. You probably knew that you could capture the pets, but you didn't probably didn't know what you can use them for. I'm pretty sure. A lot of people did not know that you can do this, um, except for like veteran players or just people who did research about this game before you started playing. But um, we're going to go out in the field, man. I'm about to just go to. Uh... I'm going to just go ahead and go to the ancient forest, man. Just something simple. I just want to show you guys what you can actually do. So we're going to go out to the ancient forest. I am actually currently just just for information. I am currently HR nine, um, working on some uh, uh, vile. I'm in the vile section right now, fighting the vile creatures. Which that place is crazy, bro. Like it is. It's not so hard, but it is. It's got a lot of uh, area effect places in there. Poison, a lot of poison, poison gas. Um, and just a lot of stuff that can damage you and it's really hard to fight in there. It, it's not, it's not too bad to fight in there, but it's not too bad and it's not too hard, but, uh, it's, it's, it's crazy. And I'm fighting, um, old dog. I'm fighting old dog right now. And he's pretty freaking fast. Like when you get him in enrage mode, he goes crazy. So, all right. So basically we're going out in the field now. You see these little rabbits right here? You can actually capture them. I'm going to show you how, but I'm not going to capture that. I'm just going to capture something. Something in the field that you can... You could pretty much capture anything that's flying on the screen, walking on the screen, walking around in the environment. You could pretty much catch it. Now, that bat... I'm going to tell you one thing about the bats. The bat, it was hard to catch because you have to go in a cave... As soon as you walk in the cave, they spawn. Or as soon as you walk out the cave, they spawn. And you got to hurry up and grab them or you won't be able to even get them. So the, the bats are kind of hard. Now, I'm going to try to catch one of these parrots. So basically, 
they just like I said, they just fly around. See, he just flew. I wasn't I wasn't paying attention. So he just flew away. But um you can always go back to the area or go back to where they walk around that and they'll respawn or go back to that little part. So all right, so basically you see you see the hairs right here. I'm gonna actually just show you on these dudes. You just walk up to them. Well try to walk up to them at least. And when the when the uh when your trigger turns yellow, that means you can get them. So all right. So basically it turned yellow right there. And then I grabbed them. So that's basically how you get pets in this. Like you just run up to them, grab them with the net. You have to have the net out. That's the only way you can do it. And um you can get that pet. The birds are kind of hard to get. You got to be quick with that, quick with it to get them. So like, see, he just flew off. Like, you got to be super quick. Uh, it's 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 kind of hard to do, but it's kind of easy at the same time. If you trigger it just right, like I usually try to wait until the the square turns yellow, and then I'll shoot I'll shoot my net and grab something. But some of them you got to sneak up on. Some of them you could just capture so easy. Some of them. It's hard to catch like you just got to be quick with it. You got to be able to just grab them real quick. You got to have quick re reflexes. You got to have quick reflexes and you got to keep your eye open. Keep your eye open. If it's some kind of little animal you want to get or pet you want to get, make sure you're looking out on trees, rocks, everything. Um, and there's a, a achievement that I got it on Xbox One. I got the diamond achievement. There's a shiny bug. In the ancient forest that I have not found yet on PlayStation because I'm playing this on PlayStation right now, but on my Xbox version I actually found them. It's called the shiny. It's called the shiny beetle, I think, or something like that. And it was the diamond achievement, but I I, I just cannot find it anywhere in this map. For some reason I just can't find it. But um, they do have rare pets. They do have rare like animals, bugs, and stuff like that that you can get. Oh, there go a cuckoo right there. Uh, yeah, cool, but I ain't gonna fight him. But um, this is just a little quick video, a little quick, neat video that uh, I, I don't think a lot of people knew about. And if you wanted to just capture for uh, just you know, nostalgia and just just if you like to do little small stuff like that, if you want to experience the monster hunter, the monster hunter, you know, the full, the full embrace of monster hunter, that's just a little quick thing you can do, man. So and it's same thing with fish. All you have to do is go fishing, capture them, and then they'll go into your backlog of what animals you caught and stuff like that. But um, this is this is your boy Swig from the Urban Gaming Gaming Community Group. Keep it gaming, keep it peace, keep it swag. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys knew about this little the little trick or knew anything about it. Um, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, man, if you play Monster Hunter World on Xbox or PlayStation, hit me up, man. Uh, gamer tags will be in the links in the description. I am playing heavy on PS4 right now because they have the exclusive, but I also have it on Xbox One, and I do play. I'm not as far as HR as I am on this character as my uh, Xbox One character, but like I said, I know how to play this game, so I could pretty much get an HR real quick. I am low rank HR right now just because I've been trying to get armor and build, but I probably could have flew up in the armor thing if I or HR thing if I really just went hard. But um, I got a lot of people I play with on PlayStation 4. So, oh, and one other thing real quick. If you guys want to join our squad, which I cannot show you right now because I am not online. Oh, I am in Expedition. So, uh, we do have a, um, a, a squad, the UGGC. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like to join it. Um, and, yeah, man, check out our links in the description. Show some love. It is your boy, It's Swigs. I have not made any original content in a long time, so I just thought I'd make this video. And we out of here, man. Keep it gaming, keep peace, keep it swag, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace. We out of here. A lot of shots, hold up. Thirties on Glock, hold up. Put you on Fox, hold up. Put him in the casket, yeah. Pull up on a bench, yeah. Nigga, fuck your handshake, yeah. Feel like the last.